physics 24 25 uh, project of finding kinetic friction of a push car. Um, the objective of this was to push an unknown car up an inclined plane with an unknown uh, theta and have it come down and uh, measure the kinetic friction. Uh, this was the video that we took in lab. And then we decided to plot that graph on a distance time graph. Um, right here you can see the quadratic equation. So uh, this is as it is going up the inclined plane. This right here is V naught, the moment whenever, uh, or not V naught, but the moment that uh, the cart does not uh, move at the very top of the inclined plane. And at that point, it starts moving downward with a negative acceleration right here. We fit these with a lower and upper limit. Uh, this is the left side acceleration, and this is the right side acceleration. Uh, and uh, we fit both of these curves with a lower upper uh, limit, and they both have, as you can see, their own quadratic equation. So applying that graph of the acceleration, we then decide to find the uh, forces. So we're going to work on some unknown theta. But we decided to measure the uh, adjacent side right here. So we're going to measure this adjacent side. And then we're going to move on to the hypotenuse. So we measured both of these. We then also decided to graph the summation of forces in the x direction and the summation of forces in the y direction, both on the up and the summation of forces in the x direction and the summation in the y direction on a uh, downward. So this is what you're going to see from my peers later on in the video. And uh, then that's also going to, end up going to give us an equation for kinetic friction, which you'll also see at the end of the video with an answer. So we started off by doing our free body diagram of our object. So we have Fn, the normal force off the track. We have Mg and our friction force going down in the opposite direction of the car. So then we solve for, we broke it up into components and we solve for mg cosine theta and mg sine theta. We solve for some forces at y, which is fn minus omega cosine theta equals ma. Acceleration is zero because it cannot move in the y direction. So we have fn equals omega cosine theta, which equals mg cosine theta. We then solve for our sum forces at x, which is equal to zero, so it's negative mg sine theta minus friction force is equal to ma. We noticed that the mass was throughout the equation, so we went ahead and took it out. So it's negative g sine theta minus uk g cosine theta equals to a up. And it gives us our final equation of negative g sine theta minus uk g cosine theta. I'm going to be doing the down direction. So here is our cart. It is now moving down. So we're, first we're going to draw a free body diagram right here. Summation of forces is going to be Fn normal force with, uh, I'm going to just break up the uh, weight component. So it's going to be weight sine theta with a weight cosine theta. And since the cart is moving in a downward direction, we're going to have a frictional force in the exact opposite direction. Also, frictional force equals mu k times f of n. Um, so now we're going to find our uh, summation of forces in the x direction. Actually, we're going to do y first. Make this a little bit easier. We're going to do summation of y. Uh, we have ma on this side equals fn minus w cosine theta. Weight is mg cosine theta. Uh, since there's no acceleration in the y direction, 
This is going to cancel out to zero. So essentially, we're going to have Fn equals mg cosine theta. We'll use this here in a second. So now we're going to do this summation forces in the uh, x direction. Uh, you're going to have ma, like before, equals negative sine w sine theta plus the frictional force. Um, weight equals mg, so we're going to have negative mg sine theta plus, and we know frictional force equals mu uh, fn, mu k times fn. Over here, we we'll have ma. Also, we have this equation that we just solved before. That's why it's going to make it a little bit easier. So we're going to have ma equals negative m g sine theta plus mu k m g cosine theta right here. And you can see there's going to be mass throughout the whole part and the whole equation, so we take those all out. So essentially we're going to have a equals g sine theta, negative g sine theta, plus mu k g cosine theta. And then we're going to solve for UK. Actually, we're going to leave that as is because then we can use this in a later portion. So, there we go. So, once Juan solved for the up direction and Nick found the down direction, we could start combining like terms and set an equation that'll help us find a new uh, UK or the frictional force. So we took our A going up, our acceleration going up, minus our acceleration going down, is equal to two mu k g cosine theta. So you um, pretty much do algebra, then solve for mu k, and at the end you end up getting uh, mu k is equal to A up minus A down over two g cosine theta, which that will give us our final frictional force at the end. Before Balto found the equation for the kinetic energy, it should be mu k equals the acceleration going up, minus the acceleration downward, all over 2g cosine theta. And we found cosine theta to be 209.66 all over 210. We then went back to the graph that you saw previously that we charted and Vlogger Pro. And the acceleration going up is 0.3589. The acceleration going down is 0.188. But from our kinematics equations, you have 1 half at squared. So you have to multiply these by 2. We then take those values and plug them back into our new k equation. Kinetic frictional force to be 0 0.07 1745.